Today I'm going to train triceps, biceps, and some forearms. Now, a lot of people like to warm up for five minutes to get the blood circulating, but that ain't me. I'd rather just come in here and warm up with multiple sets, because that's how I prefer to do it. I'll just stretch and kind of get it warmed up like that. But I'm going to start out with triceps, and, um, and the reason for that is your triceps is two-thirds your arm. So if you want big arms, you got to have big triceps. So first exercise I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Smith machine close grip bench press. So I always always set the the safety harness. And how you do that? And I want to come in like right above my chest, but don't touch my chest because if you don't have the safety harness up, and if they're down, if you're doing a lot of weight and your hand slips, it could crush you. But if the safety harness up, it'll clear you. With the close grip. Here's the, here's the rough part. I'll put my pinkies in, and a lot of people duck it in like this. Does that look natural? No. To do the most type of bringing the triceps, you keep your elbows out, kind of like a like a bench press in the military, because that brings in the most amount of triceps. So we're going to press it like this. And it's not about going all the way down, because that brings in some of your shoulder and chest. So it's right over your chest, right about here. And it's not about all the way up because you, you push your shoulders out of place. So the tricep is actually in this range of motion right here. If you go heavy, you want to go hard. We're going to warm up with three work in, I mean, three warm up sets before we get in the working set. All right, I just threw on a 45 to just start a warm up uh, set. So I'll do about 15, just get the blood flowing because a warm muscle contracts harder than a cold muscle. So keep it in the position. The little latches right here, you gotta pop them out, rotate the wrist a little bit, and you go right in your zone. You wanna start off with the bar right over your chest. And this is the thing, I don't have my hand back here. How I'm pressing it is I keep the weight right over my forearm, so I'm driving up with my forearm. Because if it's right here, see how much pressure's on the wrist? So I'll keep it diagonal like this, so when I'm pressing, my forearms is right underneath the bar so I can drive it up. Drive it up. Because if you're going to punch somebody, you're going to do them in the most strongest position, which is going to be right over your forearm, except it's in a wrist. So you want to do use your most powerful driving force so you can push up the most, made, most amount of weight as possible with good semi-technique. <laughs> Okay, I didn't film my second warm-up set, so I'm going to film my third warm-up set, and then I'll get going on my first working set. So it's the same rhythm, same technique. You get underneath the bar, preset, not like a bench press, just be underneath there, unrack it, and then go. Fifteen. Okay, I finished all three of my warm-up sets. Now I'm going to go into my first working set. I got two 45s and a 35 on there. Now I got to be careful because about a month ago I was working out on bench press and about tore my chest. So I was working out with 385 on the flat and then going into a decline and almost the end of my workout, repping out 315, I felt was, like it was almost going to tear. So it severely hurts in the left back, but I'm going to just not push through the pain, but I just, I'll go steady with the weight, if it's too much, I'll stop, but, um, you know, I got a show in about seven weeks, and I can't, it's not that I'm trying to make excuses or nothing, it's just, I got a lot of things riding on this show and trying to be the best that I can, so I just avoid trying to get injured, basically. Okay, so we're going to get the first wor working set of the way, and I'll give you a little bit more tips and techniques. So, it's freezing in this gym, but for demonstrations, I'm just on the techniques and I'm in the tank top so I can show you guys. Oh. 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 There's, there's 12 reps. We'll talk about that here in a second. Alright, going into my second workout set, I actually added a 10 on each side, so I'm doing 345s on each side. Now, I don't like taking off a 35 and putting on a 45. I'd rather just put on a 10, it makes it simpler. Now, some people are particular about that because they want the image of the three plates. To me, it's not about how much, 
I can lift, but how much I look like I can lift. That's a big te different little technique right there and a mindset. But um, so how many sets or reps do you do? Well, the key is between eight to twelve. And in all my other videos, if you aim for twelve reps, and if you can get all twelve reps, you're going too light. If you can't get all eight reps, you're going too heavy. So it's kind of like you got to figure out what's your maximum you push yourself beyond. So with the triceps and biceps, you want to do about 9 to 12 working sets with the triceps and about 9 to 12 with the biceps. So that's what we're going to focus on today because bigger muscles need to be worked more. Your back's a lot bigger than your triceps, so you don't need to work them as much. All right, so here we go. Workout two. a little bit more than 12 but it's starting to hurt like crap on my chest so this is it. I normally do between three to four working sets per exercise but not when my <laughs> not when it starts to hurt like it is right now in my chest. Okay I just did two working sets over in the spin machine doing close grip. Now we're gonna aim between nine and twelve sets and depending on how the workout goes I'll see how it goes. So the next exercise is I'm gonna do a tricep push down. Now I'm gonna show you guys from the chair how to do this and we're going to do tricep push-ups, but we're going to do one arm at a time. And I'm going to have the bar right to my set. I'm going to keep the bit, wrist, wrist bent a little bit, driving it down like this. So that way, it's, it's not about where you are. Some people go up, some people go this. What really makes a difference is your arm is by your side, and you're driving down like this. So even if my arm was in front of me, as long as it's perpendicular to present, it's the same as if I'm right here versus here. See how the difference is? So... There's two things you want to look out for. So if you feel like you can't reach it like this, you feel like you're not tall enough, all you do to bring it down is you pull out the pin and you lift up the base plate. And it comes down and you can actually reach it. So we'll bring it down a little bit. Now, I don't want to face this thing straight up because then I'm going to be pushing down like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle the center of my wheelchair into this right this left peg like this. So I'm going to be focusing down right here so I clear this. And then when I do the left arm, I'll switch it from the different angle. So I'm going to aim between 8 to 12 reps. I'm feeling 12 reps right now. I just got 110 pounds. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to get into a position. Drive it down. Get right in front of it. Oh, four, five, six. Three. Now going down. Eight. Nine. Five. And I'm going to switch the other arm. Again, since I'm doing this, I'm going to pin this one in the corner right here. I'm going to grab this, since it's in reach height, because I got, I pulled up the pin. I'm going to get in position. Here, keep pushing it down. Three holding this full effort. Pushing out with the triceps. That's working set number one. I'm filming three exercises here, so I'm going to do two more, and then I'm going to just go ahead and film the next exercise. So, that's how you do it, baby. Alright, I finished three sets over there with the tricep push down with the single hands, just alternating. Now I'm going to do, I did 110, 130, 140, and I got them all for 12 reps. So my next exercise, I'm going to do a skull crusher, and not typical technique like everybody does with the bench. I just I just lay on the floor because I'm more stable and I can just set it right down. It's right over my face. I pull it right over my face. I do it with 45s and I'll move up weight. But when I do that, the bar clears my forehead. And the skull crusher you just push it straight up over your face. And you can see more techniques and their exercises for the skull crusher. I'm just make sure my wrist is bent in a strong portion and like push upwards with a snake. I'm going to not tuck in my elbows because that ain't natural. I'm going to keep it in a natural position and exhale on that way up. And I'm just going to bring it over my chest so I can get push it up to start it because the bottom position is always harder. So I'm going to start it at the top so I'm just going to go right over my forehead and push it up. Between 8 to 12. Fourteen, and fifteen. All 
Alright, just one set down. I'm going to move up weight and move to my next exercise.